Hi. How are you guys? Hi, teacher. Good day. Very good. What about you? Fine, fine. Fine, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. How's your day going? Good, good day. A little bit. It was a uh, good day. It was really good day for you, for all of you. Yeah. 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 What did you do, Luis? I stay in my house. You stay I, home. I yeah. I took my. I take uh, the rest all day, right? Ah, really? You took a rest? Yes, of course. Yeah. That's great. Me too. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I took yeah. a pill after um, lunchtime, and uh -huh. I, that made me slept for around, um, I don't think, maybe three hours? Three hours? <laughs> yeah, because I woke up at 5 p.m. and like, what? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> but it was delicious. It it's was delicious. a really great nap. Okay, yes. it's good. Take that, Rex. Yeah. I got <laughs> What about you? It was good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 good all day for me because uh, I stay with my family. Yeah. All day. Yeah. I, in the afternoon, I take in family. Oh, the that's lunch. A, that's uh -huh. amazing that you're with your family. Yeah. Oh, and I and I'm with my little pet. You want to meet uh, him? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me just one moment. Okay. Hey, Chess, come on here. Oh, God. He's my right hand right now. He's always with me. Oh, <laughs> where is the name, your big. pet? Yeah, his name is Chestnut. Chacha? No, Chestnut. Chestnut. What is the meaning, Chestnut? The, that means in, um, in Spanish, do you remember the little seed that the squirrels uh -huh. eat? Yes. The, yeah, uh -huh. that is Chestnut. Oh. Okay. It, it is because the color of his hair. Because actually uh -huh. he has like a light brown color, most uh -huh. of the body, but uh -huh. also his, uh, his mouth, his ears, right? And has a dark mark, so a okay. uh, so dark brown. So that's why I decided to name him Chestnut. It is male or female? Yeah, no, he's male. Male, ah, okay. He's uh, over seven months right now. Oh, okay, he's younger. Yeah, yeah he's younger. <laughs> Hey Beverly, sorry, I I present my my pet, one of my pets today. Okay, hi, good night, everybody. Good night. Hey, good night. Okay, say hi to Beverly. Hi. hi. Thank hi. you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Sir. I like your hair. <laughs> Me too. Which one, my mommy or my one? <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, oh. Okay, you bet. You bet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye, take care. All right. Oh my God. He's always with me all the time. Oh my God. He's, yeah, he's uh, behind me or he's uh -huh. under the desk or when he's in front of the air conditioner. The what? <laughs> when you go to going to the bathroom. Yes. Even when you're taking a shower, he wants to take a shower with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Know. It's because he ha he's hairy. Uh-huh. That sometimes when there is like, for example, the little bowl that you put the water, right, for him, he he like uh, try to like run like this, like crazy one, and oh. then sometimes he pull it up the bowl and it spread all the water on the floor, and, the floor. and he was he was doing like this with his pads, <laughs> and then like this. <laughs> so he was taking a, um he was swimming inside my uh, living room basically okay <laughs> mm -hmm. but he but basically he cleaned it okay and then after that he was fresh <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay very good melvin how are you how's your day sir hey melvin hello hello, hello. Good, evening, good evening hello good 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 uh, a little yes uh, too much work, Matt. Uh, yeah, but yesterday you looked tired. Now you don't look tired. You look a little bit fresh, which is good, actually. Beverly Beverly knows we are closing the month. and Oh, hurry yeah, up. exactly. We're, today is the 30th, right? Yeah, yeah. and this, uh, um, we are to, we, we are to work mm -hmm. um, all weekend, too. You, ha you have to work. <laughs> We All have weekend. to work. 
Yeah. Oh, running, my running, God. running, really? running to, oh. to in to to get in. I promise I will pay all, my all bills, sales. okay? Because I okay. have a cell phone with Tigo, so I'm going to pay yesterday, my bills. Yesterday, I think yesterday I think you uh, Tigo caught your uh, internet when you. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because I have the cell phone service with Tigo. Okay. Not okay. the internet one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, I will let them know. You know what? Melvin asked to cut my internet. That's why something happens. Yes. <laughs> I'm not just kidding. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm so happy that even though it has been a hard day for you, you are here. It's just really good. Who else? Who else is here? Ah, oh, Mr. Thank Emerson. You. How are you? How are you, teacher? Good evening. Good evening. Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How's your day going? Oh, it's going. Uh, it's well. It's well? Hard yes. as, as Melbourne and Beverly? No, it's no. Relax. 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 Like, like Louis. Okay. Yes. That's good. We do have a new girl here, Adela Garcia. How are you, Adela? Hey, you're brand new, girl. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Fine. It's Fine. really nice to have you here in class. What had happened to you the days before? Uh, yesterday, because the uh -huh. day uh, I get yesterday. Yesterday? In class mm -hmm. in start in, in Tuesday. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yesterday you, you couldn't come, right? Yes. Yesterday I am. Uh, but but I'm, you're here today. I'm so yes, happy to see today. you. Okay, see. Very good. Thank you, Adele. Hey, Alexia, how are you? Hi, good, good evening. Everybody. Good evening. <laughs> How's your day going? Um, I was nice. You would not, it was nice? All right, relax as well? A little because a little bit. I walked a, walk a lot of. You walked? This. You walked yes. a lot? Oh, oh, really? Like exercising? <laughs> Yes, because I I went to the supermarket. Ah, me too. I was walking. <laughs> yes, we got. Yeah, we had to walk a lot. Did you, Did you take a shower already? Yes. Okay. That's for good. Clean my body for the entire for body. Me. Exactly. <laughs> Very Wait good. Now. Yes, to avoid anything, right? That might happen. <laughs> okay, so you need to take care of yourself. That's great. That's good. Thank you, Beverly. What about you, Roxy? How's your day I, going so far? Um, fine. Um, more, more quiet. Relax, more, maybe? Relax than, than <coughs> yesterday. Oh, that's good. You also work at Tigo, am I correct? Yeah. Okay. So I got three people here, Beverly, Melvin, and Roxy. That's good. Okay, at least Roxy had a really good day. Are you going to my work cousin. on weekend? My cousin, Mauricio, too. Mauricio. Oh, yes, Mauricio. Hi, Mauricio. Is your cousin, Melvin? Oh, yeah, you got, a, you got the, the, the same last name. <laughs> no, just no, kidding. We have, it's a, we it's have, a joke. It's a joke. Ah, okay, okay, it's a joke. In, You're kidding. In, in, the, in the joke, we have many problems with Melvin because the, <laughs> the male, the male, it's... it's Almost the same. Really? Yes. So you're M close to each other? M, M Velasquez. M E M E Velasquez. M -E. I think you gotta put your whole name. Your both the first name, the middle name, the first last name, and the second last name, so they do not confuse. Yes. Then, then the the males eh, le llegan a Melvin. Really? Oh, yes, so he love. receives the mail. He receives my yes. mail or my correspondence, wow, wow. and I receive his. Yes. One letter, so, one letter is the difference in the nickname. <laughs> so you go to the backyard and say, "Hey, Melvin, I got your mail. Yes. Hey, catch this it. is your, give me, give me mine. Yeah, exactly. This so is your, give me mine. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Do you live next to each other? Coke. Close to each other? Coke. Close? Coke. Coke. Cheers. Coke. Uh huh. Cheers. And, Cheers. and both work in water. You know. <laughs> Hello, Roxa. Hey, and, and both working B two B. No, no, no. Mauricio works in B2C and B2C. I am in B2B. 
Oh, okay. I don't know what that means, but you, but you understand each other, so that's good. <laughs> business to business, to business, business uh, to customer. Oh, oh, thank you. Okay, that, okay I didn't we, know. We attend, yeah, we attend at enterprises. Ah, ah yes, exactly. And you told Mauricio, me that. Yes. Madrizo deals with people like me, right? Like the consumers. Yes. yes. Consumers. Yes. I'm sorry, Mauricio. If you pay, if you pay, we can attend you. Of course, <laughs> I, I of course I will pay. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to pay you, today. <laughs> if you have overdue, don't sales to you. And uh, no. No, no, no. I'm a loyal customer. <laughs> All right, very good. Yvette, what about you? Tell us about your day. I was I have a easy day. Really? What happened? What do you do? I was at home all day. Yay, like Luis. Uh-huh. And I didn't bake cakes today. You didn't bake a cake? No? no. Why not? Because I don't have work today. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so you it is a relaxed day basically. Mhm. Mm That's nice. Right, right now, guys, if you listen, we have three people that have been relaxed this day. <laughs> and that includes me. Okay. All right. Very good. What about you, Steffi? Hello. Good evening. Hey, good evening. How was your day? Um, my day was so hard. What? So hard. So hard. What happened? Yes. Uh, job. And job. And job. And job. Oh my God! I'm sorry. Are you going to work on weekend? Uh, I don't know, but hopefully I not. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I'm sorry to hear that, but now it's going to I be hope, different. I hope no. You hope no? Okay. <laughs> Do you work at Tigo as well? No, I'm working at Grisal Plaza Mundo a Popa. Oh. Right okay. okay. Pass them on the pop. Okay, good. That's good. It's really hard, right? Yes. Okay, are you paying attention, right, guys? Just in case. Mr. Victor. Hey, Victor. You, finally, you're wearing your hat. <laughs> That's great. How are you, man? Um, really tired today. Yeah, you look like that. What happened? How was your day? Oh, my God. Today, I was working all day. I, 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 I came back home like 30 minutes ago 30 minutes ago and you took a yeah. shower by the way yeah okay if not you will let be like this uh, and i have the not notification something really bad too something really bad yeah what happened i did in my homework ah <laughs> uh, don't worry you will pr you will you can do it right now you, you will say it alive you know what it's better if you imp imp improvise okay so don't worry about okay. it Mm -hmm. But you're going to participate no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> <Come on. laughs> yeah. yeah, the teacher is really hard. Huh? Okay, very good. Okay, thank you so much for for, uh, for letting us know, Victor. What about you, uh, Rene Sandoval? How's your day going? Hello. Hello. We can hardly hear you, sir. I got to the work. And huh? I study, I, I learn um, office, office mm -hmm. uh, power ups. And okay. Power BI mm -hmm. is application uh, for, for work uh, uh, data analytics. Oh, okay, data. okay. Yeah, maybe Melvin knows about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and nothing. Uh, uh, I eat, I eat tamale de lote in the lunch. Really? Really? <laughs> a lot of tamales? And, oh, and, that's and amazing. Lasagna. And, and lasagna. lasagna. Like lasagna Garfield. De, lasagna de, de tinga. Tinga. What's that? Yes. What's tinga? Uh, uh, Stephanie, uh, give, me, give me lasagna de tinga. What, what's that? What's tinga? Boiled chicken with with chipotle. Really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it sounds delicious. I want to try. Tinga is a uh, Mexican Mexican food. All right. And, and normally is 
eating with a tostadas. Yeah. How do you say tostadas? Toast. Toast and like enchiladas. All right. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got uh -huh. it. That's amazing. Mm. Uh -huh. So it was but really good. I, but I think that if I put thing in lasagna, uh, well, then. Yeah. It, it sounds good. It, I think it will taste good. I will try. Okay. And I will let you know how it goes, okay? Okay. Hopefully my family <laughs> don't get sick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Who's next? Gabriela Martinez. How are you, girl? How are you? Good night. Good night. How's your day going so far? Um, very well. Really? A little busy. Yes. Yeah. Everybody is busy except for three of us. Yes. <laughs> but are, are, but are, uh, are you feeling tired today? Um, no. not much. Okay, that's good because you're going to learn a lot today that you cannot imagine. And we're going to play, by the way. <laughs> but no yeah. Kahoo. No, Kahoo is tomorrow, Gabby. So you gotta be prepared because tomorrow. you have to be, yeah, you gotta be the winner. Okay. Yes, I will tomorrow. Try. Tomorrow, remember that this class started uh, back on Tuesday, so we got to finish on Friday, all right? But the next one will start on Monday, and we're going to finish on Thursday, as always, okay? Only for this week, it's going to be different. All righty. That's when it's home. How tomorrow is with wine. What? That tomorrow is with wine. With wine? Uh, vino. Why? Yeah, why? Why? Vino. No. No. Oh. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Just coffee. Just, Just coffee. Coke. Coffee, water. Coke, water. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the only thing beverage yeah, that is I, allowed. I understand. <laughs> I, I understand Roxy is a, a, a Friday little. Ah, okay, got it. I understand what you mean. Okay. No. Okay, you see how innocent I am? <laughs> All right, very <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Come on, Melville. <laughs> Rafael, what about you, sir? Mr. Rafael, how's your day going? I, my day was very tired because I wow. I make it the report for a regional boss. Ooh, okay. Yes, and I have a terrible headache. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did you already take uh, medications, by the way? Yes, I took a pill, mm -hmm. but I don't feel good. Good. Okay, don't worry. That's okay. As long as you can uh, be in class just listening, mm -hmm. doesn't matter if you do not turn it off the camera, okay? I understand okay. that. But I, I really thank you for being here, even though you feel a little bit sick, okay? And thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you, Rafael. Uh, Oscar, Picture. how are you? Who's a teacher? teacher? Yes, I'm here. Okay, yeah, Sefi, what's up? What is Cajun? I'm not going to tell you until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I know, oh, because, Lisa. I'm sorry, Oscar. Be because I it's a surprise. I will be sick tomorrow. Because it's, it's, a, a, it's a game. It's, it's, a, it's a virtual it's a nice game. game. It's a right, it's a, Victor? Uh, yeah, it's an online game. game. It's an online <laughs> game. Everybody will participate in it and it's going to be related to what we have seen so far. Okay? So it's going to be really good. So you better study. Okay. Yeah, but it's really good. It's going to be so much fun. I promise. Right, Victor? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he said, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It is a game that you got to think fast because it, it gives you options and it gives you time. So you know or you don't know? As simple as that. Yes, sir. Is it like a race? Uh, mm. kind, kind of, but no. <laughs> it's better, but, I think. But uh. if somebody want to win, had to start it so much. Right, Victor? You got to yeah. start it, right? <laughs> you have fun, but at the same time, you learn. You will love it, Luis. I promise that you will love it. All right, last but not least, Letty. How are you, Letty? Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How, how's your day going? 
Good, good. It's uh, stressful, but okay. it's fine. Yeah. It's fine? That's nice <laughs> yeah. to hear. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, guys. So tell me, who were the people that said, we're talking in, in past tense right now, okay? Who said that it was really relaxed day for them? Who said that? Letty. But I can remember. Letty, 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 Letty. No. No. They stayed at home, by the way. Teacher. Yes, me. me. Yes, I was one of the... Yvette. Yvette, yes. Yvette. Yeah, and who else? Uh, Luis Stephanie. No. No. Me. No. Luis. Luis, very good, very good. Who said that it was, that went to the supermarket today? Alexia. Alexia, Alexia very good. And you, teacher. Hi, and Alexia. me too, yes, exactly. Ah, you. you were paying attention, exactly. that's amazing. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, who said that basically didn't bake a cake today? Yvette. Yvette, Yvette. Yvette. okay. Yvette. Who has a, a ride back home 30 minutes ago? Victor. Vector, exactly. Who works in a BT, B2B department? I don't know. Melvin. Melvin. What about in a BTC? Um, Mauricio. Mauricio. Okay. Mauricio. There were two people. And that, Alexia? And Alexia. No. 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 Who said that um, definitely that it will be a long week, so that they might, it's a possibility that they might work on weekend. Um, Who said that? There were two the people. Gabriela. The girl that works in Tigo. The girl that works in Tigo, but how? What's the, the name of the girl? <laughs> I don't remember her name. Uh, come on, David. <laughs> no, it was not Roxy. Beverly. Beverly. And it was somebody Beverly. else. You're missing one. You're missing one. Alexia. Uh, no, no, no. Beverly was one no. of them, but, but it, was, it was a boy. It was a boy. Uh, Melvin? Yes. The other, okay. Yes, it was <laughs> Melvin. Yeah, you see? Uh -huh. All right. So, uh -huh. you were paying attention. You see? You got to work with me. And we use the past tense, guys. You see? We're using them. We're using what we're learning. Are you ready for the, the homework? Yes, right? Okay, cool. Thank yes. you. Yeah. yeah okay okay alexa said yeah so thank you so much all right let's right now i'm not going to ask for the homework right now it's going to be on um for uh, 20 minutes before we end the class because i want to continue right now with the topic of the simple past all right mm -hmm. uh, we're going to finish that and the, in this case when we finish guys you will be able to to do the platform exercises okay all the okay. platform exercises related to the simple past with was and we did after this class you will be able to do it so please do it because it will be like your uh, exercise uh, writing practice okay and you can do it as many times as you want uh, as long as you get the grade that you would like okay so you can do it anytime okay so we're going to finish with that and today guys uh, we're going to see also simple past, but with an auxiliary. The past of do. What is it in Spanish do? Hacer. 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 Very good. Do you remember what is the past of do? Did. Did. Very good. Exactly. As the saying that we have seen with verb to be, is we can also use it and we can do exactly the same with did. Okay. There are just no questions with did. And as well, you can uh, use WH questions with did. But there is a difference, okay? okay? So today, that's what we're going to see. We're going to go back and check it out. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. I'm going to share my screen, and I want you guys to let me know if you can see it, all right? There you go. Can you see my screen, guys? Or would you like me to make it bigger? I want it. I want it more bigger. 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 Okay. It. Okay. Allow me one moment. Do, 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 do. All right. There you go. Is it much better? It's okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, it's cool. It's much better for me. It's much better for you. Okay, cool, guys. So I want you to pay attention on the right side. Oh, sorry, on the left side. May I apologize? On the left side of the screen, basically, it will be 
the questions uh, we did that we're going to double check right now. So I want you guys to focus here on this particular one. Okay, there you go. So we also used the auxiliary did in the past to formulate a question that you would like to know. Basically, guys, you can see the formula. We have did, that is the first thing, right? Then we do have subject, any subject, guys. It could be you, it could be he, it could be she, it could be we. Then we have the, the main verb, okay? This is the main verb. And then we do have the complement, okay? You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Who said, mm hmm? <laughs> Melvin. Tell me. Okay. <laughs> okay. All righty. Okay, guys. So this is the compliment. Very good. So if you would like to use the auxiliary as um as a beginning, you see, we use the first one. And this is a just no question, guys. In pass with auxiliary did. And this one, if it's a just no question, let me ask you. The intonation will go up or down. What do you think? What do you remember? Down. Up. Up. up, exactly, up. up. Because it's a just no questions. The always the just no question, the intonation will goes up, no matter what, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so for so you said, did you work on Saturday? You listen, let me repeat it once again. Did you work on Saturday? Did you work on Saturday? Exactly. Did you work on Saturday? Did you work on Saturday? So if it's a just no question, my answer will be, yes, I did, if it's positive, right? If you worked, or no, I didn't, if you didn't work, okay? You can say I didn't or I did not. Okay, guys, this is the immediate answer to the question, you see? Okay, however, you see, let me double check and change the color here a little bit. Let me check it out. This one, yes. Do you see this part, guys? Yes. Yeah. The one yes. that is in blue color. Okay. This one, guys, is uh, extra information if you would like to add it. Okay? And if you see, guys, if I answer, for example, yes, I did. That was the immediate answer to the question, if I work on Saturday or not. Okay. After that, you put here a period okay and then mm -hmm. you start a new sentence and of course it has to be in capital letter and do you do you see that we use exactly the same bird that we use in the question yes you see that okay but mm -hmm. there's a difference what is the difference Pass we add e and d exactly because this one is an another idea you see this idea, the first idea ends here with the period, okay? Teacher? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am, sorry. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can, go ahead. In, in this case, mm -hmm. you, you may answer, yes, I did, mm -hmm. and that's it, or a, a short answer. Yes. Or you, or you have to say other things. No, no, it's up to you, short. actually. It's up to you. Oh, okay. Because it's okay. a just no question, that means you can say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't, and leave it like that way. But if I want to say more, or if I want to explain a, about related to the question that they asked me, I can use the, the, the second part of the, of the sentence. For example, if this you, one. If you want to say, yes, I did, that's okay. That's okay, yes, but because that is the immediate answer to the question. Because it was Both a just no question. Okay. Yes, it's okay. okay. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. If you would like to add more information, you can do it or you cannot do it. It's up to okay. you, okay? okay? And in this okay. case, uh, 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 we put extra information because I want you to show you something. Okay, this one, we are using the, the main verb. You see, this is the auxiliary, guys. This is an auxiliary, okay? In an auxiliary in the past. So take a look at this because um, if I use did at the beginning, 
automatically transform the question in the past. So the main verb, which in this case is going to be work, has to be in present. Do you see that? Yes. Yes. Okay. However, when I answer or when I gave extra information, I'm not using did anymore because I already used it on the first part. So I need to transform the main verb into past tense because I'm talking about the past, right? So what I need to remember is this verb is regular or irregular. In this case, guys, this verb is regular or irregular? Regular. Regular. regular, exactly. So what I gotta do in order for me to transform into past, I need to add the ED, yeah? And you said okay. I worked all day. Yeah? Okay, cool. Okay. Is, it, is it clear? Is it good? Yes. yes. Okay. In the second example of a negative one, you said, no, I didn't. And you put, I didn't work all day. Okay, this is different, guys. Why is different? You see? In here, I'm using the auxiliary did. Yes or no? Yes. yes. But in, but in a but negative way, negative. right? Exactly. So, the main verb, which in this case is work, it has to be in present tense, okay? Mm -hmm. Because as I said, the auxiliary already transformed the sentence into the past. So there is no necessary for me to put ED. If I put ED, it's wrong, okay? And it's okay. because you're, you're... Because I'm using the auxiliary. Okay. If I'm using the auxiliary, automatically, it doesn't matter if I use the auxiliary in, in affirmative or negative way, uh, is already letting me know that I'm talking about the past. So the main verb, it has to be in present. Because becomes to be a present. Exactly, the main verb. It could be work, guys, it could be watch, it could be play, any verb that you use. Depends on what you're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Okay, and take a look at the second example. Can you please be so kind to read for me the second example, Alexia? This one, please. Did always. Did you go anywhere mm -hmm. last weekend? Very good and good intonation. I want to know mm -hmm. if that person went out right last weekend. Okay, there is two possible answers. Can you please continue reading? Yes, I did. I went to to the movies. Okay. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. Very good. Okay, you see, in the first part, guys, this first part is the immediate answer to the question. Yes, I did, and that's it, right? No, I didn't, and that's it. But uh, Alexia wants to provide more information. So she said, yes, I did, and she, gave, she let us know, for example, in the first part, she let us know where she go, okay? She said, I went to the movies, okay? She provided us that information. It was up to her, but she gave us that information. So in this case, guys, you see, we have the bird. What is the, uh, the main bird here in this question? Go. Go. What is the path of go? Went. 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 Exactly. So, you know, with the extra information, I use, because it's a affirmative way, I use the path of go. And let me ask you, if this is regular or irregular verb? A regular. A regular, regular verb. Exactly. So you see what is important to know which one is regular and which one is irregular? So we can use it in the right way. And then we do have the complement. And here, guys, on the negative way, we, we use the negative form of did. And here, go stays in present. Okay? Is it clear? Yes. yes. Yeah, easy peasy queasy, right? Like a piece of cake. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So this one, guys, this one calls just no questions because basically the answer is a simple yes or a simple no. It's up to you if you would like to provide more information. But I, I make these sentences because I want, I want you to understand that if you would like to add more information, how you can do it. Okay. Very good. What about this one? The WH questions. Guys, the intonation goes up or goes down? 
goes down. Goes, goes down. down. All righty. Uh, Melvin, could you please be so kind to read for me this question on the right side? What did what did Rick do on Saturday? Again. What did Rick do on Saturday? Again. What did Rick do on Saturday? No, you need to, I need to listen like if you're making a question. Again. What did Rick do? What did, what did Rick do on Saturday? That's what I need. Very good, Melvin. Excellent. Excellent. And you see the intonation goes up, goes down, right? Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. Very good. So let's be, let, now he, this is a different, the structure of the question will be different. First, we need to have the WH question. It could be what? What is the other ones that we have? Another example of where, WH question? Where? What else? Where, why? When? Why? When? when how? how Etc. Excellent. Which? Which? Very good job. So first, guys, we have the WH question. After that, we put the auxiliary, which in this case is going to be did, because we're talking about the past. Then we have the subject. In this case, guys, it could be the name of the person or it could be a pronoun, okay? It could be, <sighs> what did you, what did she, okay? You can use either or. And then we have the main verb, which in this case is do, okay? And then we have the complement. Is it good? Are we good so far, guys? Yes. All yes. right, very good. T remember the, how, how you construct it, okay? Because it's different. You need to remember the, um, the order, okay? And guys, do you remember what is the difference between a just no question and a WH question? We talked about that yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Large and long answer. Exactly. Very good. I, I, uh, if I'm asking something, mm -hmm. go ahead, Steffi. WH question give uh, more information. Exactly. Provides more information. I, I'm asking something, but I don't need a simple yes and no, right? And there's no question more specific. Exactly. Just no question is a yes or no. It's up to you if you provide more information. But in WH question, I need to give you the information. For example, what did Rick do on Saturday? Okay, could you please answer for me, Alexia? He stayed home at stu and studied for a test. Okay, he stayed at home and studied for a test. Okay, very good. You see, guys, here you can see that I'm, the auxiliary is do, right? But you see that the answer that I'm giving, I'm okay. using a different verbs. Yes. Uh huh. Because I need Eight. to provide the information. What is exactly the activity that Rick do right on Saturday? So I'm used that um, in this case Rick stayed home and studied for the test. Okay. okay. Tell me something, guys. These two verbs are they regular or irregular? Regular. 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 All right. How do I know that? Because you can add ed. Exactly. Very good. But you know what? This is different because this one, I only add ed, right? But this one, I I, I make a difference here. Do you notice a difference? Because yes. why? Why converse in I? Uh huh. And then we put ed. But why? Why Change. that happens? Change. Because why? Why? Why that? Why that happens? Because the verse that ends in white, you delete it, and you add I E D. Aha! Uh -huh. But you know what? Also, stay ends in Y. But why I do not change stay, and why I change study? Because stay is a vowel plus consonant. And study is consonant plus consonant. Uh -huh, no. And the study was vowel, consonant, and vowel, and, and consonant. Exactly. So I, very good. Do you remember the rules? 
So definitely, mm -hmm. I gotta switch it here, and I need to add ed in order for me to convert into pass. Very good. That is really important, guys, to remember the rules, okay? If not, we're going to see it. Don't worry about that. Very good. What about the second one? Can you please read it for me, Steffi? Can you please read for me the second question? How did, how did Meg spend her weekend? All right, very good. How did Meg spend her weekend? Okay. Her weekend? Spend. You know what is spend mean? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What does it mean? Gastar. Gastar or pasar. 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 All right. In this case, cómo pasó su fin de semana, right? All right. Okay. So what's the answer, Gabby? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Very good. She went to the karaoke bar and sang with some friends. All right. You see, went. Is the past tense of? Go. 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 And sung is the past tense of? Sing. 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 Tell me, regular or irregular verbs? Both. Irregular. Irregular. Regular verbs. Very good. Okay, so you see, guys, easy peasy queasy, right? <laughs> a little. A little. No. Easy, easy peasy queasy. You see, there's a difference, right? There is a difference. Which one is easier, the verb to be or did? did. Neither. Did. <laughs> Neither. Did. Yes. Both of them. Both of them. All that you gotta do, guys, is to remember the verbs. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have to remember no matter what. Okay, so let me do a recap. A recap here. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, let me show it to you. I have problem with the final song with the verb in past. I know. You know what? Maybe tomorrow we're going to uh, finish with a topic that will be used to. Be, used to. There's a, a phrase that we use used to when we talk about things that we did in the past, we don't longer do it in the present. Okay. So we're going to talk about that. And at the same time, Alexia, I will try to focus on the pronunciation of the regular verbs. Okay. We're going to work on that as well. Because as I said, there are like three characteristics, three categories, and we need to learn how to pronunciate them. Okay? So we're going to work on that. Don't worry about it. That's why I'm here for. Okay, so let me share my screen. There you go. Can you see it, guys? Yes. Yes? yes. Much better? Yeah? Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay, so this is just a recap, guys. Okay, if you're talk, if you're going to do a just no question with did, I put here an arrow because you gotta remember that did is first. Okay, then we got the subject, the main verb, and the complement. What is the difference? If I use did, guys, what happened with go and break? Should I change it in pass? No. Mm -hmm. no. So no. Tell me something. In this 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 sentence or these questions, they are are they correct? No. No. Why no. not? Because, because the verb is in past. Exactly. So this one is not correct, right? So which is the correct one? The first one. one. This one. Ex exactly. Uh huh. And affirmative sentences in simple past. You see, we got the subject, we got the verb in the past, and the complement. Okay, went. What is the past of went? What is the present of went, sorry? Go. 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 What is woke up? What does it mean? Wake up. Despertar. Despertar. Uh -huh. yeah, exactly. What is, how, what is the present of woke up? Wake, wake up. up. Wake, wake up. up. All right. And what about came? What does it mean? Come. 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 Venir. 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 Exactly. Come. Very Venir. good. Uh, Iraq, very good. Yavino. Uh -huh. Okay, remember, uh, for short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did, okay? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This is a recap, guys. And this is something that we need to remember. We use the auxiliary did, and the bird goes back to present, okay? That is something that you already know. You see? Woohoo! And this is like basically uh, affirmative, negative, all right? Hey, this is an example, guys, of what I was talking about. Affirmative, I walked. Repeat after me, I walked. 
I walked. You walked. You walked. He walked. He walked. We walked. We walked. They walked. They walked. I didn't walk. I didn't walk. You didn't walk. He didn't walk. He didn't walk. We didn't walk. We didn't walk. didn't walk. They didn't walk. They didn't walk. Did I walk? Did I walk? Did you walk? Did he walk? Did he walk? Did they walk? Did they walk? Very good. Ah, okay, you see, guys? This is what I want you to show it to you. We're going to emphasize tomorrow, but this is something that I want to show you. The pronunciation of the regular verbs in past, we got three categories, guys. We got the ones that ends in T, the ones that ends in D sound, and the ones that ends in ID, okay? And here is an example. Dance it. Dance. 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 Open it. Open it. Painted. Painted. You see, all of them ends in ED, but the pronunciation is different. We're going to focus on that tomorrow, okay? I promise. And you see this one? I'm going yes. to send it to you guys if you would like to, because basically... This is the infinitive. These are some verbs, regular verbs, as you can see. We got the past tense, and this is the pronunciation, and this is how, what does it mean in Spanish. Would you like me to send that to you? Yes. Yes? yes. I think it will be really helpful, right? Yeah, but yes. I guess. Yes, please. Yes. All righty. You see? And guys, let me ask you. If you would like to talk in the past, uh, you can also use some... Um, time expressions that will be easy for you for example you can use yesterday go or ago last month last week last year in 2003 in 2007 why guys because all of those expressions are something that is already happened okay so they are useful expressions Alrighty. is it good okay Okay, guys, and this is going to be uh, a homework for you. <laughs> I teacher, always. Okay, <laughs> but we're going to practice this. This is basically, I have chosen three, three people that they're going to describe basically their weekend, okay? We got Carlos, we got Erica, and we got Nancy. So who can help me reading? Thank you so much, uh, Mauricio. Go ahead. Can you please read for me Erica's information? I had a great weekend. Again, I went, please. I had a great, oh, okay. a great, I had a great weekend. Excellent. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. Mm -hmm. She got married at home. Mm -hmm. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. I'm really happy for her. Very good, very good. Only one thing, Mr. Mauricio. This one. She looked. She looked. She looked. Do you do you hear like t -t -t she looked? Okay. Fine handsome. Exactly. We're going to learn that tomorrow. Okay. Don't worry about that. But very good job, Mauricio. Excellent. Continue reading, Yvette. Carlos. Uh, teacher. Yes. I can see the. You can see it really well. Ah, okay. Allow me one moment. Okay. Bear with me. Okay. Let me put it in bigger than that. Woohoo. Much better, Yvette? It's the yes. second one, right? Yes, yeah, the second one, please. Okay. I had a terrible weekend. Mm -hmm. My friends and I worked to a, went. went to a rock concert. Mm -hmm. I was a terrible time. I drove three, mm -hmm. three, uh, I can't see the letter. Three hours? Three hours to, to arrive there. To arrive. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't like the music at all. Okay. And and after the concert hold on. Mm -hmm. After the concert, our car broke. Uh, 
broke it. Mm -hmm. Broke down. We friend, broke down. We friendly go to the home at this morning. Mm -hmm. At this morning, I am so tired. Tired. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. There's some uh, there's some words that we can practice the pronunciation, but it's really good. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you so much. Okay. You're welcome. You can say, uh, guys, when you are expressing that you are like frustrated about something, you need to feel it. So I, you can say, I repeat after me, I had a terrible time. I, I had, had a terrible, terrible, terrible time. time. I drove three hours. I, I drove, drove three, three hours. hours. This one, guys, is really important because it's only one letter different. Okay, if I, for example, scratch the the the, the H, you have T R E E. That means tree, right? Arbol, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so you pronounce tree, but tree. If, tree. yes, but if you pro want to pronounce the, in this case, the number, remember that we have a TH together. And the TH, you got to pronounce it like Z as in zebra, okay? So, you got to pronounce it like this one. Bear with me, I will put it. Okay. If you, if you have this, that is the one that we have right now, you got to pronounce it like this, right? Three. 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 Yeah? Three. Exactly. Three. Because... Oh, every time that you have a th, it's it has a z pronoun. Okay, so it's three. All right. Three. Mm -hmm. so three. three is three. Exactly. Exactly. So if you said three, you're telling me arbol. All right. If, but if you said three, you're telling me the number. Okay. Very good. And, and also, I will. I love something that you did, um, Yvette. You did something really good. This one. Uh, I didn't like the music at all. This one, this one, you link it, okay? You joined the, the pronunciation at all. You don't say at all, at all. Very good, excellent. And this one, broke down. You know what broke down means, guys? You know that expression? Yes. What yes. does it mean? Exhausto. No, broke down means que se quedó, se quedó el carro. Oh. Se arruinó. Mm -hmm. O como dice un salvadoreño, quedó varado. Broke down. <laughs> All right? Yeah, okay. All right. Finally, and this one, tired. <laughs> tired. Guys, this is not yeah. a verb. This is an adjective, okay? Tired. Yeah. All right. Okay, and let's continue with the last I one. Can, Nancy. Okay. I can, uh... Yes, go ahead. Uh, where... I or uh, no? Who's going? Rafael, can you I read it for me? I can't read the next. Who can? Who said that? Nancy. I. Who? I who, can't why? read the next text. Rene. 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 What? Why, Rene? What's happening? I can read. The you next. can. Ah, you want to read it? Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, uh, Nancy, uh, I had an interesting weekend when Cape. Camping for the first time. Mm -hmm. My friend and I left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. Mm -hmm. This we put up the tent. Mm -hmm. Then we built a fire and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went to fishing. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Very good, excellent job. Guys, any new vocabulary for you on Nancy's description? Yeah. Okay, yes. go ahead. The first one, please. Yvette, right? Or Steffi? No, okay. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening to you. What's the, what's the word for you? Put up. Put up. We put up. Yes, put up. Okay. okay, put up. That guy is a, is what we call in a, yeah, is what we call exactly in, um, in English, two word verb, okay? It's a verb that constructed in two, in two words. And basically it's like install, okay? Okay. Install, the tent, right? Tienda, 
the campaña, the tent. All right. Okay. What else? Any other one? Fishing. Fishing. Decir, armamos la tienda. Exactly. Fishing. That means that you're Pescar. going to the lake and throw the lad and yeah and got the fish. Exactly. Pescando. Yeah. We went fishing. All right. What else? The fire. Miss. Yes. Victor. Es como levantar. Yes, es como levantar o instalar la tienda de campaña. Okay. It has many, many, many meanings. Sí, dependiendo mm -hmm. where you're using it. And build a fire, guys, that means hacer una fogata. Okay? That's what it means. Anything else? Miss, I got a question about... Yes. about Victor, go ahead. Okay, broke can down. I, yes. Can I use broke down with different things? Like, can I say my phone is broke down? Yeah, you can do it. Basically, you can use it with uh, with things, not with people. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. So, do you like it? Yes. If yes. you can, if yes. you can see, guys, each of them describe the weekend, and you can see that they all of them use past verbs. Okay, regular and irregular ones. So what will be your homework? Okay, your homework will be to describe for me your last weekend. Okay, that will be your homework. For tomorrow. Yes, for tomorrow. Okay, now it's time for you to listen your homework. Let me choose. Thank you so much for participating, Luis. Repeat, please, the homework. To, the homework? Tomorrow. Okay. Do, have you seen uh, the example that we just read, guys? The example of the yes. weekends? Okay. So I want you to describe your weekend, your past weekend. Okay. What did you do? Now you got okay. the tools, okay? You know how to use did, you know how to use was, all right? Uh, so you can use the regular verbs and irregular okay. verbs. But please stay in Thank the past. You. Don't mix the present or in the future. Past is past. Okay? okay. Okay, that will be your okay. homework for tomorrow. It will be a short story, okay? One or two paragraphs, it's enough. Enough for me. Okay, Luis, may I have your um, one of the WH question with was, please? Was. Uh, uh, why? I, uh, I don't know. Listen, can, I don't hear. Ah, okay. I, I can want, use. Uh -huh. I can use why only where. W W H question or yes, the, you can use the W H question. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, were you at home? Were you at home? At uh, were you at home at ten o'clock yesterday? Okay. What was the answer? Another one. Oh. No, no, no. Yes, that's good. That's okay. a good question. But okay. remember the intonation. Were you at home? Were, at... were you at home at 10 yesterday? Very good. So how are you going to answer that question? Okay. Uh, my, my answer is I, 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 was. Uh, I was. I was. I was. So that means yes, I? Yes, I was. Very um, good. Excellent. In a negative way? Uh, I weren't. No, no, I wasn't. I no, no, I wasn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I wasn't. Thank Very you. good. Excellent. Excellent job. What about you, Melvin? Can I have an example of another question? How old was she in 2000, pardon, 2014 World Cup? Okay. So, okay. what's the answer? Okay. She was 30 years old. Very good, excellent. Can I have another example, Alexia? Go ahead. Some cualquiera. Yeah, okay. don't worry. Were we in a hurry? No, we weren't. Very good, excellent. Steffi, another one, please. Okay. Were you a good football player when you were a young? When uh -huh. you were young, sorry. Younger? Uh-huh. Yes, I was the best. Oh, excuse me. 
Hello. Uh, you're as an example. I can't I explain know, anything. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So selfish. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, very good, excellent. All right, Mauricio. What about you, sir? When was the last time that you ate pizza? That you ate pizza. Okay, okay. The last time that I ate pizza was yesterday. Ah, come on. Shame on you. That was delicious. <laughs> okay. I, you're so lucky. And with a Coke, <laughs> right? With a Coke. Yes, yes. Oh, Obviously. my God. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> That's a perfect mix. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> okay, Emerson, you were in the class yesterday, weren't you? Yes. Yeah, okay. Did you do your homework? Yes. Okay. Let me have an yes, example, please. Okay. Were we in the beach yesterday? Uh-huh. And no, we weren't. Very good, excellent. What about you, Rene? What do you have for me? Uh, when did you come play the volleyball with me? Okay. Uh, Remember, that is with was or where? Uh, yes, I was. Very good. With, okay. With you, with <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> okay, Beverly, what about you? Uh, were you eat with me the last weekend? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, were you eat with they last weekend? Were you eat or were you ate? No, were you, no. Were you Eat. Uh-huh. Eat. Eat. It's present or it's past? No, it's past. Uh -huh. So, so what is the past with of eat? Uh, eight. eight. Exactly. Wait mm -hmm. with day last weekend. Okay, what's the answer? And no, I wasn't. Okay, very good. Are you good? Excellent. Uh, Victor, <laughs> even though you didn't do your homework. Okay, Victor. <laughs> okay, I want to try. You can try, yes. Um, <laughs> do your best, okay, sir. Um, you can do it. Where did you study English before? Uh, no, English but, corporation? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, what's okay, the answer? Now I, I have to say the answer. Yes, of course. Okay, the answer. <laughs> yes, I, I was. was. Yes, I was sorry English in high school. Uh oh, very good. Excellent. <laughs> you see, you could do it. Yeah, excellent job, sir. Gabby, last example, please. Okay. Were your pets had because your absence? Mm hmm. What's the answer? Yes, it was. Were your pets sad uh -huh. because your absence? Uh huh. Yes, it was. Uh huh. Uh, okay, you said pet only one, or you have more than one? Uh, only one. Ah, okay, okay, very good, excellent. Uh, Rafael, do you have a um, sample for me? Yes. Go ahead. Was well, she studied with us last year? Okay, what's the answer? Yes, she was. Very good. Walter, do you have an example for me? Yes. Go ahead. Were, were you sleep well last night? Okay. Yes, it was. Okay. What, what, uh -huh. oh, were you sleep? Were you slept? Slept. Slept. It's the past of sleep. Yes. Very good. Yes. Oh, you, oh, you know what? It's better if you use uh, did. Okay. Did you you can say, did you sleep? Well, last night yes, it's did better. You sleep well last night. Very good. Yes, it's much yes, better. Yes. Who's a teacher? Me. Okay, Roxy, go ahead. Es que creo que algunos están confundidos que where no se usa como auxiliar, sino que es como lo está usando en pasado, pero entiendo que si se si un un, un verbo va en pasado. Exactly. Yes, that's the difference. But if you use did, the verb has to be in present. Exactly. Very good. Can I have an example, Roxy? <laughs> Ay, teacher, why am I asking that? <laughs> I better <laughs> sip it, he said. <laughs> How it is for red, but... Uh-huh. You can do it. 
What were you cook it in the breakfast? Today? Okay, okay. What's the answer? Um, I cook uh, some eggs. Okay, very good. It's good, but it's better if you use that, that verb with did. What did you cook? It's much better like that, but, but it's okay. The structure is okay. Do you remember that where and was is said or estar, okay? That's all that you have to remember. But that's good. Good job, Roxy. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And Letty, you have an example for us? Hi. Um, Hi. <laughs> okay. Was, was the weather cold yesterday? Okay. Okay. The answer is no, it wasn't. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. In the last, Rene Quintanilla. Can I have an example, please? Um, how long were you in the Navy? In the Navy? Um, Navy. La Marina. In the Navy. Navy. Uh -huh. How long in were you Navy. in the Navy? Mm -hmm. The answer is? Um, I was uh, for, I don't know, two years or uh, I was during two years. Oh, very good. I was two, in the two Navy. Two years ago. Okay, I was in the Navy two years ago. I was. I was in the Navy two years ago. Mm -hmm. Remember, there's a song like, in the Navy. You remember that song? The village like, people uh, one? Yeah, so that's uh, the one. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't have a good voice, so I <laughs> <my> apologize. <laughs> All right, guys, so we finish. Okay, yeah. now you are able to work in the platform exercises. Please do it. It's part of your um, learning, so you can practice your writing. Okay, tomorrow. Uh, yes, Beverly? Um, for um, for conclusion, mm -hmm. because I I want to understand to have to clear. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. When when I use a simple path where and was, I show to use the verb in past. Exactly. But when I use the auxiliary did, I use the verb in present. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Very good job. Excellent. Okay, guys, prepare for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have so much fun. I'm sorry we didn't have time to play, but tomorrow we're going to play a lot. So <laughs> do the platform exercises, do your homework. We're going to uh, see the last topic, used to, and we're going to put everything in practice that we have seen so far, okay? Okay. 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 Hacks. And have a question. Yes, Thank you. Go ahead. The homework, it's uh, what did you do last week? Uh huh, exactly. Like the example that we have read right now of Nancy, Carlos. So I want just a brief explanation. It has to be short, okay? No, like okay. whole opera, no way. Okay. Sure. Okay. All righty. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Great Bye. dinner. Enjoy it. Bye. Bye.